Hi everyone, Kimberly Braun here with Hope. You know me well, but I am here to introduce you to someone that you do not know so well, Danielle Holmes. She is our new shelter director and we are so blessed to have her. She is an incredible powerhouse to add to our team to help us accomplish our mission. So I want to give her the chance to share a little bit about herself. So Danielle, will you start there to share personally? Sure. Um, I am a transplant, uh, new to Colorado and Boulder specifically since 2016. Um, here I've been able to receive my education. I came out here with education in mind, uh, completed an associates at Front Range, then moved on to MSU Denver where I represented the population there as student body president, earned my uh, bachelor's of arts uh, in political science, minoring in sociology, and then moved on to uh, the University of Colorado in Denver, where I completed my master's of public administration within a year. So that's me. Wow, that's really impressive, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. <Thanks. laughs> and I wanted to give her the chance to share what inspires her to be a part of what Hope is about. You know, each of us here is dedicated and drawn to the organization primarily because we have a deep heart for its mission and what it does in our community. Um, yes, so this journey has not been an easy one. I came to Boulder by way of shelter um, through SPAN. I'm a domestic violence survivor. Um, and so I have that personal history and kind of been raised by this community, um, not only through my education, but also through um, my internships and um, working with community projects. And so, yeah, that's what's really inspired me to do this work is to continue to work with community and on issues that impact me specifically. Thank you, thank you. And Danielle, if there was something you could share with everybody and you're giving the, getting the chance right now, <laughs> this will be shared with thousands of people through all our channels, what would you like to say about the issues we address? Absolutely. Um, so I think I have to point out that the situation is bigger than just the individual. Um, let's look at my own circumstances and specifically. Um, so I came here, um, was sheltered and was able to, you know, get my footing. Um, I have uh, gone through all of the education um, and was helped through community um, by way of different organizations helping me with needs um, and also with a housing opportunity. Um, well, even with all of this education that I've received in this new position, I'm still dependent upon a housing voucher. Um, and I just think it's bigger than one person can tackle themselves. It really does need a community. Um, and so, yeah, thank you for all of our donors, all of our volunteers, everybody that helps, you know, each individual person come out of it and find self-sufficiency, which I'm still seeking to find. Yeah. Well, she makes such a poignant and valid point that the situation is truly dire. Thank you so much. And thank you for taking the risk to work with us. We're a small nonprofit and we literally, literally use every penny that you send to us to make our programming possible. We keep a very low overhead and we've expanded beyond what is stable for us in order to meet this dire need. So Danielle is a great example of someone who has such a heart and so much conviction that she's harnessing her mind and her faculties and her body and all of her devotion to help us accomplish our cause. So thank you, Danielle. Thanks for this opportunity. Absolutely. And just a reminder to everybody, Colorado Gives is just a week and a couple days away, December 7th. So that's next Tuesday. You want to schedule your gift because as you know, that funding pool will give more to us and our programming if you donate that way. Jump on our website, hopeforlongmont.org, learn more about it, or just email me. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Thank you.